Hey everybody, it's Sunday afternoon, taking a break from uh, taking a break from watching uh, some of the football playoffs. Uh, just watched the Ravens kick the Colts ass. So. After living in uh, Indianapolis for 20 years, uh, learning to pretty much hate the Colts and their arrogant fans, at least the ones I had to deal with almost every day, I'm really glad to see that. Uh, congrats to Ray, Ray Lewis. Uh, I hope the Ravens go away, just go for a while just for his sake. I'm getting ready for the Redskins Seattle game, but uh, figured I'd, uh, I'd drink another beer. Had to work last night, got to work tomorrow night, so didn't do a review yesterday. Uh, had a couple beers, of course, when I got home last night, but didn't do any reviews. So anyway, today I'm going to do one that um, just saw on the shelves. Um, it's from uh, Newcastle. Uh, I'm going to do their... Winter IPA, uh, a little bit, a um, little bit from the website. It says zesty in character and jam-packed with a creamy finish. The Newcastle Winter IPA is full-bodied and hoppy, delivering unique and authentic malt flavors for the cold season and snowy match days. Whatever match days are, comes in at 5.2% ABV. A little bit off the bottle. It says uh, we aim to pleasantly surprise you with our winter ale, a unique limited edition brew with the drinkability you expect from Newcastle. Our recipe echoes the style of 18th century India pale ales which were subtly high, higher hopped than British pale ales. This brew has seduct seductive malt, caramel, and zesty character which accompanies a balanced and creamy finish. Our inspiration for this unexpected winter brew? Well we just want to make our long British winters more palatable. Okay, so I know this is a British IPA. Like I said, it says brilliant British ale on there. Um, I did have one of these the other night. I bought a, I bought a six pack. They weren't available in singles. So I had one the other night. So I've got some initial impressions from the one and only Newcastle Winter IPA. So let's get it in the glass and see what we have. Now I know this is not as hoppy. This is a British IPA. I take that into account. I know they're not nearly as hoppy and uh, and bitter as uh, as American IPAs, so I do take that into account when I do my reviews. Um, we got a that's a copper color. That's a little darker than I normally uh, see in an IPA. Um, just a very light head. Didn't even didn't even give a pinky of a head. I was fairly aggressive on the final part of the finish. Um, seems to be a a light amount of carbonation streaming up. Not not really highly carbonated. Pretty clear. Um, so anyway, let me give it a let me give it a nose. See what we have. Okay, we got some earthy, slightly floral, almost citrus hops there. Um, hints of caramel. Uh, little yeastiness there um, it's almost a metallic uh, hint of metal there like like a penny or something just that uh, kind of copperish type aroma that you sometimes get in English beers a um, little like doughy breadiness almost like sourdough bread uh, not a real strong flavor, so let me give it a taste. Okay, we got some, there's some light, again, earthy hop notes. Um, very, very light uh, caramel. Not not much hop, hops in this beer, but, you know, it is an English IPA. You don't expect as much hops. Um, There might be just a slight hint of a, a citrus flavor there, but there's uh, not much there for sure. Um, a mouthfeel, it's watery. I gotta say watery. It's it's just thin. I they said on this here, full-bodied and hoppy. Well, it's neither. It's thin, watery, almost watery. I'd say it's watery. Not very hoppy, 
um, even for a even for a, a British IPA like I said I do take that into account um, but I don't even think I'm gonna I'm not even gonna let this let this warm up I will I will drink it it's not it's not a drain pour um, but overall this this really isn't a very good beer um, I did there on Facebook on the beer drinkers United side I I saw somebody put up a note to stay away from the uh, Newcastle special releases. I did have the the, uh, were the the werewolf before, but uh, I wasn't real impressed with it. So I think I I think I have this cap Newcastle limited edition. But if not, at least it's a new cap. But um, the flavors just just don't mesh in this. They're just not. There's just not much there. Um, might might be slightly considered a bitter, maybe. Uh, Newcastle called it an IPA, which even as a British IPA isn't. Uh, it isn't at all. Um, it's drinkable, sort of, but it's not a it's not a good IPA. It's not a not a British IPA. Um, I don't know what you call it. Uh, maybe a bitter. Maybe a mild ale, definitely not an IPA. So I, and that's what I got to rate it as, because that's what Newcastle calls it. So um, the Newcastle Winter IPA, like I said, not undrinkable, but it's getting there. Three out of ten. Uh, not a good beer if you see it. And even you know if you like IPAs and you know and you like British IPAs. This isn't a good British IPA, and I do like I do like British IPAs. I know, I, like I said, I know they're not as hoppy and bitter as uh, as American IPAs, but still, they're usually pretty darn good drinkable beers. This isn't so. Three point five for the Newcastle Winter Ale. Till next time, everybody. Cheers. Let's keep drinking good beers.